actually, Dr. Ted. Thank you, Brian. Great. Hello, sir. <clears throat> well, this panoramic is terrific. Great job, Brian. Your teeth are solid as a rock. The bone is great. There's absolutely nothing wrong. This x-ray is totally within normal limits. Excellent. If you need me to stop, just lift that finger and that. I will stop instantly. Okay. okay. All right. And can you hear me through the mask all okay. right? Yeah. Okay, good. First, cotton roll. I'm going to clean your teeth or dry your teeth. Uh -huh. Teeth have a kind of glassy surface. And the brackets, which are the same brackets I use for uh, orthodontic patients, uh -huh. they stick much better when the surface is kind of like less, more frosty and less glassy. Uh -huh. So here you go. They only have to be on 10 more seconds, and it's done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blot dry your teeth, so I'm probably going to use a little bit of air and a little bit of a cotton roll, and we're ready. All right. So to open again. And then, hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, this is warm air. Uh -huh. So, tell me. I'll do it lightly. Be some because sometimes some people have uh, their teeth are sensitive to the air. So I'll I'll just come from afar and and three. Now I'm positioning them, and Brian is getting ready to shine a blue light on them, which makes the bracket set. I'm sorry, which makes the glue harden. Okay, bite. Show me how you bite. Now I asked you to see how you bite uh -huh. because I want to know where I have to place the bracket so that you don't bite them off the bottom. Now. I'm going to remove my fingers so Brian has complete access and he's going to shine that light and finish the rest of the curing of the, of the glue on the brackets. At this point, all I want to do is demonstrate to you that your brackets are truly attached and really hard. Uh -huh. See? Okay? I'm beginning the wiring. Putting the wire around the upper back. Bob will have you bring your teeth together, bite, yeah, uh -huh. and then I'm leaving a little bit of slack in, all the way in the back, uh -huh. coming around bracket number three, taking the upper strand to bracket number four, up around bracket number five, and then I'm going to make the two strands meet in the front. Uh -huh. The most important thing when I do this is I want to make sure that you have the maximum amount of laxity of your jaws that I can give you. And that's related to these little vertical posts. Uh -huh. So at this point, I'm now adjusting the wire to make sure that you have the maximum I can give you without the wires coming undone. So if you will please try and move your jaw a little bit, uh -huh. I will be able to test that make the twisted part a little bit tighter. And then there's going to be looseness in the front. That's what will allow Bob to make the proper amount of wiring, the, to give you the maximum amount of laxity. The important thing was when you make this piggy tail, I call it a piggy tail, that you have enough loops in it so that it doesn't come undone. Tuck the wire out of the way. Okay, I'm now going to test your speech. Would you be willing to have that done? Sure. Okay, you feel okay? Your right and left sides feel about the same? Yeah. Okay, so now we want to try your speech. Now, I know this is the first time. This is like being reborn, yeah. right? <laughs> now, so what you're going to do is try and count from one to six. You may proceed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and count. Do the alphabet from A, to A B, C, D. Go A, ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, 
I mean, somebody might say that, 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 that it's not perfectly clear, but I venture to say that, that when you get on the phone, mm -hmm. that most people will have no idea that whether you're wired. Okay, you know, it's like when you go into the uh, shoe store, right? They, you put on the shoes, you try them on, okay? Yeah. Then you get up and you walk and talk. Okay. <laughs> and sing a song. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so I think we can safely do that. Mm -hmm. So arise. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> now, question. Are you having a panic attack? Okay, that's good. That's a good first sign. Yeah. Okay, so there you have, there's your, there's your, you're speaking to your dental professionals. Mm -hmm. If you just look straight ahead, mm -hmm. you're speaking to your dental professionals and you're speaking to people who might even consider this service for, them, for themselves. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to say a few words, you can, but if you'd just like to say goodbye. Go for it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
but basically the actual uh, mechanicals of how to do it, Dr. Ted will teach you. But you'll be able to see how you can do it yourself. And there you have it. So now my white, my jaws are done. You do the repeat process on the other side. Um, usually when I get ready to wire, I, I've learned to hold my jaw right at the proper amount so that I have the most opening and closing to make it easier to talk. Um, so now I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to remove the wires. In case you were ever choking or just needed to, simply take the wire cutters that Dr. Ted give you. Just like Make a small snip, and then you simply just unlace them. So there you have it. OJW and how easy it is to do. My experience providing OJW demonstrates that OJW is safe and effective when performed as I have presented. My experience and research have proven that the overweight and obese would welcome dental professionals as part of the healthcare team to help them regain control of their sometimes compulsive eating habits, which often lead to other serious health consequences. Keep in mind, doctors, that in OJW, you are responsible for maintaining the health of the teeth, gums, and jaw joints, while losing weight with the assistance of the OJW appliance is the patient's responsibility. Finally, even in cases where patients regain weight they will not hold you responsible. Colleagues, my experience with OJW is that it is a safe and effective method for controlling weight. Selectively choosing patients on objective belief they are likely to succeed is prime. The informed consent and medical dental forms and your professional acumen will assist you in patient selection. Moreover, I have provided guidelines to help you recognize patients who are not good candidates. Finally, it is important to advise would-be new patients that the first three days are the most difficult to tolerate and upon infrequent occasion, patients have elected to have the OJW removed prematurely.